Welcome to Art Making at Home with the Rollins Museum of Art. I'm Alana Nagy. For today's activity, we will be creating a bird feeder inspired by artist Frank Weston Benson. For today's activity, you'll need jumbo popsicle sticks, twine, glue, and sunflower seeds or bird feed of your choice. But before we get started, let's learn more about our featured artist, Frank Weston Benson. Frank Weston Benson was an American Impressionist artist born in Salem, Massachusetts in 1862. Impressionism is a style of art that began in France in the 1800s. Impressionists, artists who paint or draw in the style of Impressionism, use lots of small visible brush strokes to add color, light, and shadow to their artworks, instead of blending the strokes together to create a smooth photorealistic effect. Impressionists were especially focused on showing how light affected color and shadow in a scene, as well as using loose strokes to show natural movement. In this print titled Evening, we can see the Impressionist style in how loosely drawn the grass is, with Benson drawing flowing and random lines to give the impression of grass instead of drawing out each exact piece as he saw it in front of him. The Impressionists also like to draw and paint plain air or open air meaning that they would sit outside and draw directly from the natural scene in front of them. Frank Weston Benson loved birds and wildlife. It is important to respect our wildlife. So look up online to find the correct type of bird seed to use for your native birds. In Central Florida it is the black oil sunflower seed. Now that we've learned more about artist Frank Weston Benson and his artwork Evening, let's take a moment to think like an artist. What other aspects of the Impressionist style can you point out in evening? What do you think would be better about painting plein air or outside in nature? What do you think would be more challenging about it? To get started, you're going to lay out six popsicle sticks next to each other to create the bottom layer. Leave a little bit of space in between the sticks so that if it rains, water can drain out through the bottom, but don't leave such big gaps that your bird seed will fall through it. Glue two sticks on the tops and bottoms of the six sticks to create the bottom layer of the base. Readjust the sticks while they're still wet with glue to try and make as even of a square as possible. Then add four dots of glue onto each corner of the base. Use a popsicle stick and attach it on the two right and left sides. Then add four more dots of glue on each corner and add popsicle sticks on the top and bottom layers. Continue gluing your popsicle sticks in the same pattern as before, two horizontal on the top and bottom, and two vertical on the left and right. Keep adding layers until you have your desired depth for your bird feeder. Now that you have all the layers glued together, put your bird feeder aside for a while to let the glue dry. Now that the glue has dried, 
Take four pieces of twine and tie each piece to the corner of the popsicle stick bird feeder. Once you have a piece of twine added on each corner of the bird feeder, take all of the loose ends and tie it together in one big knot. Find a place outside to put your bird feeder and fill it with seeds that are eaten by your area's native birds. You can even be inspired by Frank Weston Benson's artwork, Evening, and go outside and draw plain air or outside images of the birds that visit your bird feeder. Thanks for joining me today to create a bird feeder inspired by artist Frank Weston Benson. Be sure to check out our other art making at home videos. Happy creating! Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this or visit us online at rollins.edu forward slash RMA to see all of our K-12 and educational programs.